Committee. Uh, in 1969, Physicom uh, approached Intel to design chips for a calculator. And their idea was to have 12 chips. And Intel's engineer, uh, Ted Hoff, thought that was overcomplicated. And so he designed what became Intel's first microprocessor, along with Federico Fagin and Stan Mazur. And the result, the 4004, which Intel introduced um, in 1971, they purchased back the right from Visicom to use the chip. And so we have an exhibit here dedicated to Intel's first microprocessor. This is 100 times the size of the 4004. And the 4004 had 2,300 transistors compared to today's product, which has over uh, 410 million. Each little square, each little black dot is a transistor on here. And this um, exhibit is just representative because this, this microprocessor changed the world. calculator, we have a, an enlarged version of the calculator. We have um, a screen which displays the paper tape, shows what's happening in the registers as you calculate. But the first calculator actually worked like an adding machine. You would have to do 2 plus 4 plus equals rather than 2 plus 4 equals. So the first calculator, or, or the Visicom calculator, worked more like an adding machine. significance of this little die right there, which you can see in the middle of its ceramic and gold package, had the same computing power as the ENIAC, which was a vacuum tube computer that filled an entire room.